I'm now going to prepare wax to put in the solar wax melter tomorrow. I have this wax in a bag that's been down in my freezer since last year. Uh, wax that was um, the result of, of doing crush and strain with my honey last year. So I'm going to put this wax in a colander in the sink. Now I'm going to get water that's warm but not hot and use the spray attachment with my sink to wash the wax. And this takes a while so I'm not going to make you watch through the entire process. Okay, the honey has been pretty much rinsed out of the uh, wax, the cappings that I have, and I want to get as much water out of it as I can to drain out of the colander. So I'll do it a little bit like this. And now I have set up uh, on the counter beside here, I've got set up um, paper towels on top of a cloth towel, and I'm going to lay the honey out on the paper towel so that it can dry. I don't want to put it in the solar wax melter so that it soaks into the paper towel that's going to be holding it up. I prefer the wax to be dry when it goes into the solar wax melter. And I'm going to get as much out of the colander as I can. And I usually, once I've laid it out like this so that it can drain into the paper towel and then into the cloth towel, I almost always also put a paper towel on top of the um, wax that's draining. So I'll put So first of all, it looks like this. I don't know if you can see it. So I lay all the wax out on a um, paper towel that's on top of a cloth towel, and then I cover it with another paper towel to help soak up the dampness that's in the wax so that it can be dry in the morning when I get ready to put it into the solar wax melter so it can sit in the hot Atlanta sun all day and turn into beautiful beeswax. Okay, this is a rectangular Tupperware type container with about an inch and a half of water in it and it's all ready to have the paper towel secured. When I first read these plans for doing a solar wax melter on the internet, they say to tie the um, paper towel to the plastic container, but boy, a rubber band is so much easier. So I use the rubber band to secure the paper towel so that it goes um, on the top of the rectangular container, and the container can be rectangular or round or whatever. I've had better results with the rectangular container for some reason. I don't know why the wax comes out better in that container. Um, so this is all ready to go and the wax will sit up here on the top when we get it ready. Okay, here we have the wax. It's been drying under a paper towel and on top of a paper towel that is getting ready to go into the solar wax melter. Of course, in these little crumbs like this, if I put it in the solar wax melter, it's just going to um, have a hard time staying on the top of the um, paper towel. So I usually bunch it up and squunch it together. I don't know if that's even a real word, but I bunch it up and make it into little balls of wax to make it a little bit easier to place on the um, uh, paper towel because I want it to uh, stay together enough that it doesn't drop off into the bottom of the container. I want it to all melt right there. So I've made two balls of wax and I'm going to make a third one And then I'm going to take these, and this wax has gotten to dry out really nicely. It was in the freezer since last year, and about two days ago I put it out on the counter to dry. And so it's really dry. I haven't worked with any that was this dry already before, which is quite a nice thing. So these are all ready now to go on top of the um, plastic container that will be the recipient of the melted wax. So now the wax is down in the solar wax melter, ready to go outdoors in the morning when we're going to have a 90 degree day in Atlanta. Uh, the plants for this kind of solar wax melter were developed, I think, by a man named Paul, who's a New Zealand beekeeper. I found the plans on a uh, website run by somebody who's at Georgia State, and he just calls it Paul's Solar Wax Melter. Um, but it's a very simple way to do a solar max wax melter, and it works absolutely beautifully. So these three little balls of wax by the end of the day tomorrow will turn into um, beautiful 
yellow golden wax. Today is going to be a very hot day in Atlanta, so I've put the solar wax melter out to work. Um, the wax has been clumped together and the wax is going to be sitting here for the entire of the day. It's about 8 in the morning and by sunset it should be fine. Um, if you can see the, wa the wax, I had to gather the crumbs up and make little balls of the wax in order to set it on top of the um, rectangular container. After sitting for the whole day, this is how the solar wax melter looks. The wax is filtered completely through the um, paper towel, and this is how it is. And you can see an interested bee up on the side of the styrofoam container because the bees are drawn to the smell of the honey. Okay, now we're going to take the top off of the solar wax melter. You can see from how stiff the paper towel is, it is just impregnated with wax. I found that this um, wax filled paper towel is a great way to help the smoker get started. I peel that up and it's got some wax on the top that I'm kind of sorry about. I'm not happy about the fact that this much wax is still here, so it might mean that we didn't have a sunny enough day. I may add this to the mix for tomorrow. And the wax in this particular uh, batch has a crack in the center. That hadn't happened before, but it does. It has a crack in the center. Um, it doesn't matter because I'm not doing it for show. I'm just doing it for filtering and purity. Um, and I'm going to go now and pour the water off. The end product of the solar wax melter is this beautiful golden wax. I wish you could smell it. It smells just incredibly like honey and, and the beehive. Um, most of the time the wax comes out like this in, a, in the shape of the um, plastic container that it's in. Here's a round one that came out beautifully and here's a rectangular one that came out beautifully. It really doesn't matter what shape it is because in the end all you want is the filtered wax so that you can then remelt it to make a candle or perhaps I'll make a two pound block of wax. I now have 36 ounces of wax to enter into my bee club's honey contest, I mean um, wax contest at the honey um, judging in the fall. This is the wax I got out of today's um, melted wax and it looks like this because during the day the guys that take care of my yard came by and bumped into the solar wax melter and it looks like a big, good bit of the water was spilled and they left the top kind of askew and the water I think that was left which was about a half an inch of water boiled and this is the underside of the wax that uh, came out of the wax melter. This is what the top looked like. But like I said, it totally doesn't matter because in the end what you want is just this beautifully pure filtered golden wax. Um, and so this is how you use the solar wax melter and thank you all for watching the, uh, my video. Bye bye.